Uh, this is for Wednesday night, December 16th, 2020. We're going to start out as we usually do. Uh, we only a week away from Christmas. We're going to try to remember our sick needs. Uh, Isaac told me, I don't know how long ago it was, that uh, Leonard Coleman that works at the John Deere place has had COVID. I know there's several others around that I probably can't think of that's had it in the last few weeks. Just remember those that's had the uh, the COVID virus. Uh, I know I talked to Jill, uh, Donna Wynn's sister the other day. She said that they thought they was going to work out her uh, heart problems with medicine and she's doing rehab now and uh, which I'm doing some rehab too. So it's a real fun thing since I had my stance. But uh, it was official as far as I know that Monday that uh, I assume Joe Biden's our new president, so we need to start praying for him, and we definitely need to uh, start praying for our country. Uh, I do know yesterday they started with the COVID shots, and so that is something that we can never have a vaccine in this time frame, and we've never uh, got it through and got it approved this fast, so we need to be thankful for that. Maybe we're looking at another six months that we can get uh, 60 or 70 percent of the country vaccinated and it won't uh, be as deadly. Remember our church. I'm just so thankful for our revival. I know uh, bunch like me wasn't able to attend, but uh, we got to see it on video and what a blessing it was. Uh, uh, just pray that maybe by March or April, maybe May sometime in there, we can get our services back to our church and get maybe toward normal. Maybe that's a little too hopeful, I don't know, but whatever the good Lord's got planned. Remember our children's church and our free team service, Carrie Wilford and head of it. Uh, remember our youth uh, with Derek and now uh, his wife is gonna start working with him. Now remind me what his wife's name is. Brittany. Brittany is going to start working with him. And uh, uh, so that's going to put KB out of a Sunday school teacher. So remember KB, he's going to need, I think they said that would be a third and fourth grade teacher. But uh, Derek has requested that his wife work with him. And remember our pastor search committee, that is Derek, uh, Stephen Williford. Glenn Hudson, Michael Albritton, and uh, Charles Willingham Jr. Do you know of anything else, Will? Will's my sound and cameraman today, so I'm going to go ahead and do the prayer. I'm going to let you use it around here where you can get the scripture. Uh, let's pray. Dear Lord, we do just love you and we thank you. And uh, as it becomes the uh, Christmas season, we just want to... Uh, Slow down. I know there's families that's got together for, I know I have, is since I was a child. And we're going to miss some of that this year. And I'm going to really miss it, dear Lord. And I just ask that you give me patience. And uh, I, I love my family and I, I hate that I'm not going to be able to be around them, around them but it's going to be the safest thing. So. Just pray for us, that's facing our families and friends that we usually see. And uh, at this time of year, it's, it's, it's all about family and friends, and it's just going to be a hard time. So pray for our church as we try to uh, minister to people and uh, lonely people. And uh, I forgot to mention our Christmas Eve service. We're going to have a uh, Lord's Supper then. And, Try to bring honor and glory to you, dear Father. We do just pray for our country. We got a new administration starting in, and uh, we don't know how things is going to change, and we don't know what to look for. But we do know, dear Lord, you've got control of it all, and we do just thank you for how awesome you are. We just pray for those in health care. I know. When you go to saying, well, there's shots here and everybody thinks it's winding down, but the hospital's as full as they've been the whole time and the healthcare system is just strained. So remember them. 
remember our schools as uh, every now and then one got COVID and then another got COVID and then they got decisions to make. So just remember our schools. We do just thank you for being so awesome and we thank you for the meaning of this uh, season, dear Father, that uh, Jesus was born on this earth and uh, he did live here amongst us and we love you and thank you. Uh, we're going to start out tonight. Uh, I, I was going to pick on my wife a little. I don't know if y'all know my wife, but if Christmas gets here, she tries to start Christmas way before Thanksgiving. And uh, she's going to play the Grinch maybe sometimes twice a week, if not three times a week. Those of y'all that if you ever watch the Grinch, if you haven't, you need to watch it one time so you'll know how bad it is. But what it is is the Grinch goes down into the town and he steals all the Christmas gifts and he steals all the Christmas trees and he steals everything, the food and everything else. And then he goes back up into the mountain with all the stuff and he's up in the mountain and he hears singing and he looks down and the whole town is a singing and a praising and a loving on one another even though all their, their trees and their gifts is gone and to me that statement says a lot within itself that we as a people are looking at a different day and time We've never been through COVID like we've been. We've never had things. And our country has commercialized everything to we at the point that the instant we think about Christmas, that we think about gifts. And I think the older I get, uh, the gifts is the least important and being around family and friends and being in my church and trying to bring honor and glory to God is, is what it's all about. And I mean, we're a week before and we're getting right here at, at it. And I'm gonna let Will read our scripture. It's uh, Romans 12, nine, and I said 16, but you can stop wherever you want to stop. Right. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Okay, let's start out with do good to those who persecute, persecute you. How, how easy a job is that? Uh, you, uh, when you Christmas shopping, uh, the person that's been uh, mean to you or you kind of dislike or Everything ain't going just right. You ever bought them a Christmas gift? In this scripture, you'll also hear that it tells you and talks about unity in amongst your church and the members. At some point with the church, you got to understand that it's all about uh, bringing honor and glory to God. Uh, I'm a, I know we try to choose sides and, and that's just human nature. But it's all about serving God. And I'm just so thankful that uh, the gentleman that's on our pastor search committee, I've got so much faith in him. I didn't, I had Stacy McIntosh on my prayer list 
while ago and forgot to mention him. I reckon this is why. I've got probably more faith in Stacy McIntosh than I ought to have because I, I just know and I see and I see in his prayer life and I see what he's doing that when he says something, I know I need to listen. I mean, I disagree sometimes and I do with everybody. But somebody that's really prayed up and really trying to do what's right, I stopped at, uh, we're talking about praising God and being thankful. Uh, I stopped at uh, Carter's the other day to get a hamburger that I ain't supposed to have on my diet. And Keith Sturry was there and he was in a brand new truck. You know what? I forgot to tell him before I left how happy I was that he got a brand new truck. Now, why would I be that way? Why is our nature, I mean, Keith Sturridge that is a, a lifetime long friend, I'm not saying that, but it just says rejoice with those who's rejoicing. Why is it harder for us? It's probably easier for us to love somebody we don't like than it is to rejoice with those who's rejoicing. When you see somebody doing good, do you go tell them, I'm, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of what you're doing? Sometimes that's a, a hard thing to do. It also says in this scripture, if you got folks that's hungry, you need to feed them. And in this Christmas time, it's hard for me to believe, but they were showing on the, uh, I believe it was the, one of the shows this morning, there were three or four lines of cars as long as the camera could see. And they would be waiting in line for food. And that's in our country. So when you go to your refrigerator, when you go to pulling stuff out, just thank God that uh, there's something in there and uh, that he's blessed you. And just remember on this Christmas time, somebody that you got a little problem with, how about shop them, tell them you love them. I want to tell each and every one of y'all that this Christmas is going to be hard for you, especially when you can't get with some of your family and you're going to be sitting there all of a sudden and just, it's going to be upsetting. And I just say when you, when you get at that point, you just pray to the Heavenly Father that he'll see you through it. And I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all watching, and I just, uh, I'm thankful that uh, God allowed me to do this, and uh, we love y'all.